Okay, I'm going to answer that question in three ways. First of all, to say that I think we need to know what we mean by successful knowledge transfer. It's surprising how uh, infrequently that question is asked. And it seems to me there are three qualities of successful knowledge transfer. It's something to do with the intrinsic qualities of the knowledge itself. It has to be uh, sound, good, good knowledge. Uh, I think it's also to do with an impact, a discernible impact on policy. And finally, it must be something to do with the effects of that policy, whether it results in an environmental enhancement, for example, or some other kind of improvement. So the first point is let's ask ourselves what we actually mean by, by success. Then I'm going to suggest that we need to move away from our old uh, linear, rational concepts of the way in which knowledge influences policy. The idea that first we define a problem, then we gather knowledge about that problem, then we, uh, quote, inform policy, unquote, and then policy changes to, to take on board that knowledge. I think we now need a much more sophisticated understanding of the very complex boundaries between knowledge and policy, and, and that's something that we're, we're still working on. If I were to answer your question literally, then I would say in the short to medium term, uh, the successful transfer of knowledge in the senses I've mentioned uh, are usually more to do with the political climate of the time than they are to do, to do with anything else. So knowledge may be ignored, it may be used, it may be used selectively or strategically depending on the particular political conditions of the time. And I think everyone will recognise that phenomenon. If we're to look in the longer term, however, I think we find that the gradual accumulation of knowledge does change the ways in which we think about things. It changes the frame for problems and policies over time. And so my final point would be, if we're looking for successful transfer of knowledge into policy, we have to look not only at what you might call direct hits, but also at slow changes in uh, the framework for policy over much longer periods of time, probably several decades.